Coming up, I'm about to show you how to configure a remote control to your Amazon Fire TV stick. That's all about to happen right here next. Alright guys, so here's a video to show you how to configure your um, Amazon Fire remote control to your uh, games on here. So what we're going to do is you're going to go down to apps, as you can see on the side there, you're going to go to apps, and you're going to need to go to one of your emulators, and here we're going to do the Atarioid emulator, which is for your Atari 2600 games. So you're going to go ahead and open that up, and um, you're going to also need to, once you got the game opened up, if you could, press that little button right there so you can configure. As you can see, now we're, we can go over to settings, we click on settings, and you'll probably want to uh, click on audio and video and go down to aspect ratio so you can control how it looks on your screen, and I would suggest doing 16 by 9. So when it comes in, it's probably going to be on default, maybe. Go down to 16 by 9, click OK, and then go back. And then for the controller, we got to go to Input Settings. And so once we get to Input Settings, we're going to need to go to Key Mappings. Once you go to Key Mappings, you'll press that. And you're going to go down and configure each button. So with the remote control, You'll go to where it says pad one, and where it says up, you're gonna press, you're gonna hit, you're gonna hit that with the remote control. Then you're gonna hit the corresponding up button, which is this one here, and that is configured. Then you're gonna go move to the next one, press that, and we're gonna do. I think I was down. I'm gonna press that. Now down is complete, and you're just gonna go all the way down the list until you're done with all the buttons. And that's pretty much it. And you're going to do the same thing with each one of the emulators. So if we come back out, you would do the same thing with uh, Nessoid, which Nessoid is not on my screen, but it looks exactly like this one. You'll do the same procedure to configure um, the controller for your games. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy. So this is Eric. To the next video. Hasta luego, peace, love, and hair grease. I'm out.